Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Aslam Ali Hindi and you are learning Swilliworks 2018. So we are going to discuss and learn the text in the sketch. So clicking for the text, uh, we can place our text here. So I am placing, let's learn SolidWorks. I hope the text has yeah this is the text and uh, it has been placed here so using this control point we can drag it anywhere we wish and we can extrude it using extruded boss taking 1 mm as the extrusion length and you can see how this text is behaving in 3d so anyways let's go back and I'm double clicking over it to edit the text or anything regarding the text I can use different fonts for that I have to uncheck here unchecking here I can click on the font and then I can go for any particular font for example this is the brush script standard and i can go for any of the font styles which i wish and for the height i can either give a um, height manually or i can choose the points which we do use in our uh, text editors so these are the various options you can choose from Anyways, I'm choosing for this one and clicking OK. You can see how the text has changed. Now, clicking OK. Now, let's try to extrude this text. Clicking for the extrusion. You can see this R is not extruding. And let's try to extrude it anyways. again R here has also disappeared and you can see this O in the works this is also a bit weird this thing these tips are uh, weird in, in themselves and again this is also weird do you know why this happened let me tell you once again I am uh, deleting this extrusion going back you can see there is an interference between the R of the R with N as well as with the A and the same way there are interference of this R with the A so the area covered by this R has been excluded out and in a lot of cases your extrusion may fail so how you should avoid this problem you have to simply click over it then right click and then dissolve the sketch text once you dissolve the sketch text this sketch text converts into a series of lines and these splines so you can delete this interference go for the trim entities go for power trim and then pass your cursor this way over the areas which you wish to delete yeah this way
and one thing you should note that once you dissolve the, this text you can't restore it back and uh, you can't edit it like before you can't convert it into any other font style if you wish to so this should be your last operation you will be doing with a text this is the final operation you will be doing with doing with a text yeah now let's try to extrude it out extruding for it and uh, in this case you have to select the closed contours which you are going to extrude clicking for them clicking for a closed loop uh, and an open loop can't be extruded clicking here yeah and the magic has happened now let's learn some more things in the text editing the text I'm just deleting this all this old text it will be taking some time because there are 359 items which has to be deleted so they are consuming the resources of the PC the processing power of the PC you need to have a PC that has good processor good RAM to handle the processes that SolidWorks offers you should be having a good GPU graphics processing unit for it to function well so we can only wait so we have deleted that text and uh, again I'm going for the text and before that I'm adding a line this is a line taking a okay I can take a slanted line then I'm adding a curvature to this line understand why it's not working it's amazing um, It's amazing how SolidWorks is behaving. Oh, basically all those lines uh, were there, and I just we just couldn't see them. Mm, okay, we are taking a fresh line, fresh spline. it's there but it's amazing that we can't see the spline a bit amazing mm. 
anyways so this is a spline we can add more splines here but I won't be going for that at this point we have to select the curves so we are going to place our text here and the text should start from here to here so th the thing which is going to be our first from which the text should start that should be placed that should be selected in the last so I'm taking the last one in the first and the first one in the last and then now I'm placing the words let's learn now see the thing which you should know I'm typing solid works and you can see the word solid works is not appearing here because the the path for this text has just vanished and uh, there is no extra length available for the the words d w o r k s to appear anyways i'm clicking here and uh, then i'm trying to As you can see automatic solve mode is off and I'm trying to extend it and it's not extending so I have to type auto and it's showing different commands that are having the word auto automatic relations this is automatic solve I have to check for it and uh, now I can drag it that may be the problem with us when we were trying to change the this line this spline basically so you can see once we drag the this spline and increased it, its length the words these words has appeared and uh, we can do whatever we wish to do with them if I try to make it look like this I can do it like that if I try to change the this uh, line I can do that so whatever way I try to place my path my w words the text is going to follow that path so this is all about the text in the sketch thanks for watching have a nice day.